Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, from the House of Representatives on this side, the Senate on that side, and you see all the action happening right now. We are in the meat of the session, down to the cutoff, the House of Origin cutoff, which means these bills are either going to fly or die in the next two days. So the action you're seeing right now is a lot of lobbyists down on the floor below me trying to get the last minute push for their bills out of one of the houses, either Senate or House. And of course the members too are working with each other if the bill is not moving to try to move that bill through amendments or anything else because this is it. Some of these bills have been in this system for nearly two years and this is going to be where they either make it or break it. Now there has been a large uh, kind of lurch to the left. A lot of bills from the left side of the spectrum have come out because of the change in the Senate majority. Now the majority is Democrat in both houses. And so there has been a big move to the left on bills. However, the right, the minority is fighting hard to uh, keep things in check and try to find a middle ground. And that's very important. Uh, a lot of these left bills have been uh, around for a long, long time. Some of them I've seen are 10 and 12 years old that are re uh, re recreating, coming back to life, you know. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Now, the big, uh, big job up forward is the budget. Now, that comes out of all this because all these bills come out and go on the table, essentially, and then we decide how to rearrange it all and then see what, you know, everything costs money or, or reduces uh, income or brings in a tax. All has to be put in the middle and figured out. So these bills are important because only the things that come out will be considered in the budget for the most part, although there is exceptions to that. And that budget process is starting now. Uh, we'll see the budgets just over a week from now, one out of the Senate first. The next day we'll see it out of the House. And then the negotiations begin to try to make the March 8th deadline. That's March 8th. That's the 60th day of the session. We have got to be out of here, or we sure hope we are, these extended sessions have been tough. I sense this time we may get out. There's plenty of money on the table. We don't have a revenue problem. Uh, the big question is, will the governor get his carbon tax? $1.5 billion. That's probably the most talked about bill over here right now. A huge tax increase with a lot of implications for the economy. And will that happen? Well, I guess we'll find out. It hasn't come out of the Senate yet. If it doesn't come out in the next day or so, odds are it probably won't. There's also a capital gains tax sitting out there, which could be very uh, detrimental to some of our business folks. So um, this is where it all comes together. In the next week or two, we'll be telling you more about how that budget is falling together and some of the more specific issues. We do have some good bills moving, good bills for the district. Of course, you know we got our water rights back, we got our capital budget, and there's other bills that are moving that'll certainly help, including this one, tourism. Out of the Senate, 47 to zero. The first statewide tourism package in years. This is my bill, original bill. It'll be under a different name because it came out of the Senate, but now it's my job to get it through the House and put our tourism market into overdrive. The only state in the union that doesn't do it. Let's see what happens with that. Let's see what happens with carbon tax, and we'll get back to you in a week or so and let you know. This is Kerry Condotta, your state representative from Olympia on the fourth floor of the Capitol building.